What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Denmark. So to round off where we left off, Niles Svensson is taking advantage of an open left flank in the Indian lines and attacking Ahmadnagar to further expand our influence. As you can see our armies are pushing significantly toward the east having defeated these armies in large set piece battles. Whereas this area is completely open. We have one force atta attacking towards Ahmedabad so we may as well advance up and secure Ahmadnagar while we can. They do have mortar so uh, it's going to be quite an, a fast moving offensive battle but most of their infantry is either poor or depleted so it's not too much of a worry. Um, so without further ado, let us fight. Before, by... So my normal plan is usually with more fuel battle to advance up quickly to destroy the guns as quickly as possible trouble is is that when you're fighting an indian faction that's what they want you to do because they've got lots of men because it allows them to use their troops at their most effective points right so if we can advance up i want to put my guns up here so my troops are a bit depleted so we need to be a bit well that's, that's, well, that's enough they're depleted enough for it to be a problem or for it to be a consideration, at least. Okay. Select everyone. Form a big line. Oh, why don't you take it... Oh, why don't you play it a bit cagey? Because it'll only take a couple of volleys for some of these units to rout. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So where are their guns? Just within range. Actually... You know what? I might just bombard them for a bit, because that's four batteries of guns with clearly a line of sight. Killed one guy with our first volley. Oh, no, so they are actually still... They are actually still going to come at us. Huh. I'm not sure if that's a good thing. But I want to deploy my cavalry to go take out the Lancers, because some of my units are so weak. Ah! Mountain troops slowly creep back to safety. So I must never forget the realities of fighting against mortars. So much so, actually, I think the better tactic is probably to engage engage other forces, which would allow me to defeat them in the field quicker to then move up and knock out the guns. So let's speed up time. Because they are being nice enough to push up into me. Okay. So let's make sure our guns don't... Make sure our guns don't commit. Ah, run! Run, mountain troops! Sorry, mountain troops. It's too late for you. Run, mountain troops. Run for the trees. Or run for the square. Yes, you may die in the crossfire. But it's better than being slaughtered by the, by the cavalry. Hurrah! Sounds like camels want to go as well. Ooh, yes. Okay, well I might... So where's their cavalry? Have they got any cavalry here? No. So... Heavy cavalry... Get your ass up there. Watch out for the bodyguard. Ah. I thought my guys would turn around and do a... Okay, you guys just run. You're already dead. At least they managed to fix the camel gunners in a position. Ooh, friendly fire. Bite. Friendly fire from the houses into each other. 
Yeah, that's enough to break them. Can I stop? Ha! <laughs> the old bait and switch. <laughs> okay, let's make you guys form more of a line. Okay, now let's. Ha! <laughs> Dervish is trying to catch up with my cavalry. Not going to happen. Hold on, let's get one of my guys to hit the Gurkhas with quick climbs to knock them down a bit. And none of these guys are actually really that worth wasting time on. So my cavalry is just going to... Actually, you, you can now just run straight in. Because you are never going to catch up. Seek warriors and dervishes. See, I've just ha I've been I've been having flashbacks of that uh, Danish assault on Prussia and about how devastating for morale those mortars were. So you know what? I don't want to take the risk, not at all. Okay, one of you hit them. The other one hit this unit of guys. Snipe the general's bodyguard. You also go for the Gurkhas. You go for. Eh, you go for like a. Uh, get the, both of these guys sniping the Gurkhas. There we go. Charge onto the old mortars, that's what I say. The Gurkhas are coming in. So let's get them both targeting the rear most unit of Gurkhas. Poor old 141st Ducky. So we've got to not knock him out before other units get more interested. I mean, I want to. Okay, let's get the cavalry up and away, away from these spikes. And then I might have to chase them down because they might just come back. Go back to my line. Everyone's having a torrid time. I'm gonna chase them down. Before we get to this line of spikes. See? Defending in this game is too easy. To be honest, I shouldn't do it as much as, as much as I do. I just hate mortars so damn much. Well they're shattered now, so they can do what they like. Good old Gurkhas storming in. Let's see how well they do. Charging in through the forest, through the woods. Now they're in range. Yeah, still, I need to lose not, not too many men before they were actually. That's a bit of a surprise. Having a go at the levy. No, yeah, to be honest, they've all routed. I think that's all of them. Good. All I need to worry about was was a uh, <laughs> was the unit of mortars that I don't think even fired on my cavalry. So it's a bit of a damp squib of a battle, really. But the important thing is the city's ours. Let's upgrade this to another church school. Let's take my heavy cavalry, clear out the port. Yeah, it's also that. Yeah, I'm not interested in the fifth. Good. Beef up this fleet. Let's build a sloop. Let's get the heavy cavalry back to Anathagar. 
Good stuff. So we are getting quite an elite set of armies here. So you've moved up, but you're not in a fighting position. You're not in range of Calcutta yet. One more turn, but you need to replenish anyway, so that's still good. In fact, I might send a resupply convoy up here. So let's mix some infantry together to try and maintain skills. Damn, it took not them down to two. See, these guys will need, need two of this infantry, so let's take you two, go join him. And the other one, the other pair, go up here towards Calcutta. Get everyone finishing. Actually, you're in good nick, so I might push you up ahead of the line. Elliot, cover the road, cover the road. You're still replenishing and back in the base. Upgrade the farm. Sweet. So our tech's going pretty well. Not sure I bother about rockets. Go for shrapnel shot instead, because holy moly, shrapnel shot's good. Percussion shells, not so much. Although, I need to, to be honest, I do need to try them out a bit more. More so than I currently do. Still, we're going to start seeing the almighty wealth of India roll in. And by then, to be honest, the next great power... Because they've got the Balkans, they're... Pr I don't know, I don't think they're at war with the Poles. Aha! More Indian stacks moving around. Well, we have to intercept you. So they're rebalancing from east to west because they grouped all their forces to the east to defend Katak. They lost Katak quite convincingly. And now they are scrambling to cover up gaps in their coverage. But it's too late. Rebellions grow in strength over time. Rebellion? The more they're left unchecked. Always act quickly in these instances, okay. otherwise the uprising may capture So we can leave you for a turn, because you'll just write a letter saying how angry you are. But we can do this! And if I take all of you bar the cav bar the artillery... No, not quite enough. Ooh, okay. Cavalry and infantry, backed up by artillery. Good stuff. So you guys replenish on your way back to Hyderabad. You guys replenish on your way back to Ahmadnagar. Same with the guns. That chilled your pipes, it has. And now we can tax you. So the warning is just about rebellion. Galway's developed, so let's give you a craft workshop. There you go. So the only, the only recruit, new recruitment was those forces near Hyderabad. So you've gone through one round of replenishments, so now you can put Calcutta under siege, and holy moly, that's a crap ton of mortars. No way. No, you guys move up into the army. You keep pushing up. So I want these guys to I want these guys to uh, reorganise before they push west. So there's a gap towards Amadnagar they might take advantage of. Extremely elite force here. Go to Hindustrom. Hold position there. Fact, let's send a unit for SARS out to clear out the port. We'll keep the brig just because it will mean we can leave the brig there. We can send the remainder of our fleet, no, not our entire fleet. Send them up to siege Bandar Abbas on the Strait of Hormuz. Because they have a fleet, they're growing. Another church school. Got another tea warehouse and a port. So 
upgrade the droid up. Let's upgrade you to a commercial base. Let's just start spending spending money in India because we know we know we'll get it back. Okay, cobbled roads. We don't have Calcutta yet. Okay, your you know you could do replenishment. So do I send this army west and then north to engage Nizam Singh? Let's do it. Advance up to Berra. And there won't be anything new to stop us soon. We will have a country. And with all our church schools, we'll be turning the population towards Protestantism much wealth to exploit to attack other major powers. Okay, so let's deploy deploy our guns up on, on the line because we've got the advantage of the hill. Give me a solid core of infantry. Actually, to be honest, I just need all of it. Because we are taking the fight towards them. You guys reserve. Curiosiers on one flank. Curiosiers on the other flank. They're already there. Advance our cavalry up first. I just deselected all of my. Good stuff. Don't my cavalry near the camels. Get this infantry out on the flank. I'm hoping they tag the corner of my square and go for them instead. Haha, -ha, you fools! While I then deploy my heavy cavalry to deal death with the rest of your troops. Get my heavy cavalry out of this combat before they get killed by dervishes. Maintain your square formation. Or at the very least, run back to my lines. Good bunch of damage done to my marines. Danger close quick line right there. Good. Now let's try kill the Now let's try kill some of their cavalry. Good, so we broke their flank. They've also broken ours. So let's set a fusilier unit up to the rear. Let's get the marines in on the combat. My cavalry have got caught up on the unit of levy. Okay, let's form these guys up onto this hill to form a little redoubt. You guys go in against the Gurkhas. Cavalry going to the back of the Gurkhas. Because these sepoys are not going to hold. Okay, let's start to pivot you guys that way.
I don't want to send my cavalry in against the camels, but I've kind of got to. Or they could just route. That's also good. Get my general in against the routing camels. Run my heavy cavalry away. Get my heavy cavalry to chase down the Gurkhas. Run my fusiliers into the line. Targeting stuff. Okay, you're getting shot in the flank, so pull you back. Reinforcements, hurrah! General's bodyguard, which we don't really need. Oh, that's my flag, isn't it? I'm an idiot. Let's send you out to engage them. Same with that unit of foot artillery. So the gunners have abandoned their guns, which is always nice. Yep, so the reason why I sent my general in against the camels is because they are routing, they will do no damage to my general. So even though he should, in theory, die horrifically, he will not because they are routing, which means it's an easy way to get cheap kills against camels with cavalry and ensure they don't come back. Let's get people into gear. As much as I said, ha ha, General's bodyguard isn't useful actually in my head. It's pretty good. It means it can help. They can help me chase down the routing units. Let's make sure I target my howitzers, turn off my mortar fire, and also my actual foot artillery. I'm probably not going to need it to take out that unit of that unit of dervishes. So the line battle should be a fairly simple conclusion. Well, only seven Gurkhas, six Gurkhas. The gunners are routed, their lines broken over on the right of the screen. But yeah, this is why using heavy cavalry for this is bad. Because they are will get very tired very quickly. But you know what? I don't give a damn. This general is here just waiting for the dervishes to rout. As the final volley's gone in. Absolutely continue. Let's speed it up. Dervishes, you're on them. You're getting back into it. You need to kick it back into gear and go after these gunners, wherever they are, somewhere in the in the field over here. Good stuff. Oh yeah, the gunners are over here. Ah, they've split up. 
mean, going after some of those warriors is probably a better idea. Yeah, they've managed to escape, so let's bring that general back to the hill. To be honest, I expect... Yeah, they're all going to rout, except for this unit of desert warriors. But we've got so much cavalry chasing them down. These poor souls. Should have stayed in the desert, fellas. Smash. Four, two, one. Get him! That wasn't close. It got a bit dicey at one point, but it wasn't close. That's an exaggeration. Sweet. We lost more men than I'd like, but we decimated one of their armies, which is always nice. So you guys replenish. You guys get up on top of the hill. Because I do want some of these... Well, it's mainly this one weak unit I want to beef up. Which I might, actually. Pull you out of the line. Out of the line. Put rank 3 into the line. Got a rank three back there, which I might actually send back. Combine a rank two unit together. Yes, more experienced company infantrymen. So you move up to Chanda just to hold the hold the crossroads. They could lay siege to Barar, but. Actually, they might. Actually, they might just do that. First Kalman, oh, that's what's that experience of that? Still experience five. So I might like to move you slightly east. Now they're going to hold here for now until another army can support them. You're going to stay where you are. I would like to thin these ex these elite troops out somewhat. Is that all the sepoys I can get? Yeah, I can. Okay. Company infantry it is. Sweet. Let's hit and turn. The French are on the move. Eh. Go on then. Finally. Just to mean that I don't have to worry about fighting them. Or that I don't have to worry they're going to do anything sneaky and stab me in the back. Uh, no alliance, Poland. I don't care what you're offering. No way, Jose. I just finished recording... Uh, 13 Colonies Part... 20 ah, actually, it was, it was 28 that the Polish effort was... The Polish effort was made. And, oh, oh, look at that. That little fragment decided it was going to try to raid my tea plantation, but it was just too short. The devil of it. So the Greek Navy was bizarrely strong in the Baltic. Don't know who they're... I'm not sure who it is they're against. Unless they've allied with the Ottomans against the Russians, maybe? Let's have a look quickly. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Grand Bahama. Yep, slowly going to turn all lots of lots of ports into Grand Harbors. So the Ottomans. Now we'll have Poland and the thirteen colonies. So they're going to be pushing up there. Who is Poland at war with? The Ottomans, Prussians, Genoans, and Venice. So they're at war. On two fronts. Huh. Okay. Let's upgrade the school. Let's send you chase down this little stack which you just fought. <laughs> Push them away, but they're not dead. I mean, if I send in these two guys, yeah, they can call in, call in the big armies reinforcements. It's gonna take ages for these guys to recover. But that's gonna be okay. They're gonna push up towards there in a couple of turns. 
bring the port back, bring Niles back, or Nils, bring you back, you were probably going to go join them, expert marines, join Elgbert, let's upgrade the church school, so you're going to join the garrison of Katak, and then Hartfort is going to push out to the west, Good stuff. I knew you were going to join. We'll come up to the garrison here. I don't think I can actually do much jiggery pokery here. Oh, I can. Yeah, I'm not really need much development for that to be ready. Let's go back to my buildings. So, Katak needs metal roads. See, you guys like me, because I can I can keep the lights on and keep all of our economic freedom going. Let's upgrade you to a commercial basin. I've upgraded the church got Katak and Orissa. Can't upgrade that yet, because I haven't got steam-powered water mills. Let's go back to the Denmark. Let's upgrade to an engineer school. Oh, no, let's upgrade one of our ports in our capital to be a global trading company. So we've made peace with Spain. Where are you going? Ah, we're going over here as well. So three cavalry, two guns. Yeah, that'll be you done. Okay, let's move up some of these troops. And you guys keep replenishing. At some point, we have to declare when we're going to send an army back here to attack Mysore, because I think they've got a fairly, yeah, fairly simple dervish-based army. So Mandagar are on strike, but now they're okay again. Ah, this are this unit fell back into the city. So it's a siege to Ahmedabad. Yeah, there's your garrison mortar. Let's move this unit of replenishing company infantry up to Conrad. All of my artillery, all of this artillery, move out to join Niles. Awesome. So this unit's in good nick. Ready to drive north. Sweet, because how much money are we make in turn? 34,000. It's not as much as I'd like, but we are being raided on the trade re trade regions. But our cities in India are growing quite quickly. Could mess around with policies, but things are okay. Sweet, let's hit and turn and see what happens. Do you start investing in the dem you demand demand I trade with you? Yeah, go on then. <laughs> Not twenty eight hundred, which was the rest of my balance, uh, but I think I'll probably make that back in a couple of turns. And I mean, I know so will they. At the end of the day, I don't think it's going to matter because we're going to have that Indian money. Slurp of Pepsi. Sweet. Yes, the Mughal Empire. There's nowhere for you to run. Your cities are falling one at a time. So I think once we've taken out the, the Mughals, we're going to have a narrow front against Persia, and I'll be able to pull two armies back to take Mysore and then I'll land them up on the coast up in the gulf There's against the Persians. In that is not yet See, this is slowly going to work. And yeah, trade port as well. I mean, as long as there's lots of stuff I can upgrade here, but I'm, my focus needs to be in India. For now. So let's upgrade the tea warehouse. Verna, let's bring you in. Oh, 
miles. March on towards Malwa, actually. Just, just head straight on. Frederick! Lay siege to Nagpur. You march on. Track is a bit of a blocker. You just march on through the trees. Didn't get ambushed. Thank God. To be honest, actually, Niles, you might actually come back over here. It'll take you some time, but that might be a good idea. Because I, I, I can actually siege them and they won't get any mortars, which means that this army, once they've replenished, will actually be good enough to knock out Mysore, which would be pretty handy. So... I'm not going to denude this army while they're attacking Ahmedabad yet, but I may as well have them behind, ready to provide some support. Uh, I think we're going to take Frederick's army and attack Nagpur. But, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the assault on Nagpur with my increasingly veteran armies. Cheers, everyone.